Hi guys, I'm Ito Shitanko. I'm a licensed physician and board-certified ophthalmologist. During cataract surgery, the cataract, which is the former natural lens of your eye, is removed and replaced by a new artificial lens implant. There are different types of lens implants to choose from. If you or anyone you know is planning to have cataract surgery in the future, then you might want to know the options you have so that you can discuss this with your eye surgeon. In this video, I'm going to talk about the different types of lens implants as well as the pros and cons of each one. Let's go! First, we have monofocal lens. This is the most common type of lens implant used. Mono meaning single or one, it provides clarity in one distance only. For example, if you and your eye surgeon chooses the monofocal lens implant that is designed for far vision, then your vision will be clear only at far distance. Hindi naman siya magiging clear kapag near distance naman. Vice versa, if you and your eye surgeon chooses the lens implant that is designed to provide clear vision sa near distance, then your vision will be clear at near but blurry at far. Ang pros ng monofocal lens implants, it is the cheapest among the other options and there is less glare and halos compared to the other options as well. When I say less glare and halos, ibig sabihin, mas hindi siya nakakasilaw kapag nasa araw ka or kapag gabi naman, mas hindi ka masisilaw sa mga streetlights, sa mga ilaw ng kotse na nakatapat sa'yo. Mas hindi siya nakakasilaw. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng less clear and halos. Ang cons naman niya, pwede ka pa rin maging dependent sa glasses, either for far or for near. For example, ang pinili mong monofocal lens implant ay pang far vision, then possible pa rin na mangailangan ka ng glasses kapag magsiselfone ka kunyari or magbabasa or any work that requires near vision. So, if you find the other options too expensive or if you are always out at night, if you are always driving at night, if you are always out at daytime, if you like outdoor sports, and if you don't mind the possibility of still wearing glasses, either for far or for near, then monofocal lens implants might be the right option for you. Next, we have multifocal lens and trifocal lens. These types of lens implants are less commonly used compared to the monofocal lens. One, because they are significantly more expensive than the monofocal lens and they are associated with more glare and halos. Multi meaning more than one, three meaning three. Multifocal and trifocal lens implants provide clear vision at multiple distances. So for multifocal lens implants, they can provide clear vision at far and near. For trifocal lens implants, they can provide clear vision at far, intermediate, and near. So ang pros nila, since they can provide clear vision at multiple distances, there is less dependency on glasses if you choose these types of lens implants. Ang cons naman, again, they are significantly more expensive compared to the monofocal lens implants. and they are associated with more glare and halos. So, if you spend most of your day indoors, and if you don't usually drive at night, and you really want to get rid of glasses, and if you don't mind the significant price, then multifocal and trifocal lenses might be your best option. Last that we will talk about in this video is what we call Extended Depth of Focus or EDOF lens implants. EDOF lenses are the latest among the previous lens implants that I discussed. EDOF lenses can provide clear vision from far to intermediate distances. 
Ang pros niya, one, it can provide clear vision from far to intermediate distances. Two, it has less glare and halos compared to multifocal and trifocal lens implants. And three, they are less expensive compared to the multifocal and trifocal lens implants. Also, there is the possibility that you will be less dependent on glasses with EDOF lens implants. Ang cons naman, although it is less expensive compared to the multifocal and trifocal lens implants, mas mahal pa rin siya compared to the more commonly used monofocal lenses. That's the last lens implant that I will talk about in this episode, although there are a few other lens implant options that we can talk about in another episode. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe, and leave a comment below if you have any comments or suggestions on what you want me to talk about next time. I'll see you in the next episode.